All right, guys. My bad. That was <laughs> y'all wasn't supposed to see that with that face. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, guys. I I let me get on my make sure I'm on my Wi-Fi, please. All right, guys. I apologize, man. I had the worst luck, the worst luck with uh, internet. My phone overheated. Like man, so many interruptions came when I'm trying to deliver this message. All right, so. We're gonna do how we do. We're gonna let. I gotta do this whole thing all over again. I gotta do this all over again. Because my stream messed up, my phone crashed, I lost the live, so. And it was just too many interruptions, and I don't I don't feel comfortable with that video. So, for those who weren't here, the first stream, that was about maybe 35, 40 minutes ago. Um, we're gonna get right into it. Like I said, so for those of you guys who may see this video and may, may this, this mainly to my people who are not of color uh, or just put this way, people who are just white. Look, I'm going to need you guys to put your pride aside for a second and just listen right now. Okay, guys, we put our pride aside for 400 years, okay, and dealt with a lot of shit. So I'm going to need you guys to put your pride aside. All my MJ fans, all my Glow Team, Glow Gang, Moon Trappers, Moonwalkers, put your pride aside and just listen again, okay? Now, I'm going to go through this again. There has been some buffoonery, coonery, and just nonsense going on in this fandom for way too long. All right? I've been in this game for four years, but I've been in the Michael Jackson community for seven years. So I've been trapped since for four years, since I was 24, 24, 24 going on 25 when I kind of first started. And, you know, I was young and naive and I had, to, I had that mindset that, you know, if you're a Michael Jackson fan, we can be friends. Because not many Michael Jackson fans or fanatics or that, were, that was much of a fanatic that I was, were, they, were not, they were not that close to me, you know, where I grew up at. So I didn't grow up around a lot of MJ fanatics like me. So, so I found this online community, okay, yeah, we can rock out, we can be cool. Now, especially tribute artists, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, if you, were, if you, if you put on the glove, I put on the glove. We got something in common. Let's rock out. We're doing this for Michael Jackson. That's what I thought we were doing it for, Michael Jackson. People try to warn me. Be careful, bro. Jeff Perez, hey, be careful with these guys, bro. Be careful. Don't, not everybody your friend. I know that. I'm not stupid. I'm from the streets. I'm not, I know not, not everybody's my friend, but I feel like we all, I thought we was all soldiers of Michael Jackson. Anyway, I've always tried to bring people together. I brought the MJ Avengers together. I've linked up with Jeffrey Perez, Pete Carter. We did the shows years ago. Um, you know, several artists. Santana Jackson linked up with him. You know what I'm saying? I, I, try, I try to... Mike Light. You know what I'm saying? I try to bring people together and do some fire work, especially MJ Fanatics. Like, that's a no-brainer. But you got people who really don't do it for that. You got people that just come to our culture and just still man and that's just i'm calling out for what it is now i know it's, it's a sensitive time right now we got the uh you know the justice for george floyd we got the whole world on fire right now it's something it's something that started off in minnesota now this thing escalated to a whole global pandemic another pandemic for civil rights and just for equality period but us black people gotta realize that we're not even legit citizens in this country anyway so it's gonna be a long battle again but it's the big old, it's the biggest civil rights movement ever. So anyway, but you know, this for a lot of you guys, you guys, you guys are Michael Jackson fans, you guys are tapping into the Michael Jackson community. So I must we going there's a lot of changes that's about to happen in the world. And it's gonna be a lot of changes that need to happen within this freaking community. It's a lot of racism in this community. I'm calling it out, bro. I'm, I'm I know this. I'm calling it out. I'm sorry, a lot of people are afraid to speak on it because they get uncomfortable. Now Growth, sometimes growth is uncomfortable. Remember being a kid, and you're gr having growing pains? It was uncomfortable. Especially me, I'm tall. So I had a lot of growing pains. I had a lot of growing to do. Certain situations you may be in life, and you might, be, you might have to go through some uncomfortable changes just so you can elevate, just so you can upgrade and, you know, and succeed. Evolve. Even Michael Jackson had to go through some uncomfortable changes to elevate. And progress sometimes growth is uncomfortable and sometimes we got to have these conversations 
just to address it and just so you know that, okay, okay, I understand now. But for that, you have to put your, some people got to put their pride to the side. You feel me? There's a lot of pride in this fandom. People who take pride in things they sometimes they shouldn't even have pride in. Now, had a situation with this dude named Sack MJ. He's a Michael Jackson, the person that I think he's from overseas somewhere, Latin America somewhere. Yeah, you know I mean, so I'm not prejudiced against Latin Americans. I'm half Dominican myself. I love my Hispanic people. So let's let's not let's let's not be, let's be clear. I got Dominican Republic flag tad on me. Let's not be clear. Let's let's be clear. I'm black. I'm not prejudiced. I'm not racist. I love white culture. I love my culture. I love I, I love it. I listen to rock music. Let's get a twist. I'm not a one dimensional person. I love a, I'm a man of many traits. I love a lot of things, guys. So I appreciate what white people have done, you know, also for, you know, music and anything. I just love a lot of things, but I'm not, I'm not just one dimensional. You, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, this dude, like, you know, thought it was cool for him to post a black face picture. Half, like, he had a half black face photo, which his girlfriend, like, she's a makeup artist, she did it for him, right? Now, in this photo, it was mad. It, the reason why it was mad offensive. Not only the, was he in blackface, but because he's a he's a you know European type of Hispanic. Not only was he in blackface, but he had the nerve to have tattoos, blood coming from his eyes, dra braids like Travis Scott, rings, chains, uh, uh, yeah, earrings and ring like. And then the other white guy, he had slick back, like a collar, slick back, white face, collar shirt, clean cut, like a businessman. So I'm like, you just stereotyped all black people with that. You know what I'm saying? And then he's on his story he's talking about, oh, yeah, you know, and my girlfriend did this side. See, he said it in the Spanish, of course. He's saying my girlfriend did this side, and she put the black side. You know, we got the traditional braids, you know, what black people do, the black side. You know what I mean? It's ignorant stuff, bro. It's super ignorant. Like, bruh. So I'm like... Is this how these this is this how you people see us, bro? It's just some thug looking people. Like, not every black person look like that, dude. Like, so I'm so so at first I wanted to bash him. I wanted to like, yo, you, you idiot, what are you doing? So I said, you know what? No, nah, cause some people need to be some people need to be educated. Like Brandon, dancing told he was he even admitted that he was ignorant. He didn't know. And he did his research and now he's like talk, dropping facts. He understands now. He got he know he he understands there's do's and don'ts with this. And he understands that if it wasn't for black culture, he wouldn't be a dancer. He would like let me say, if it was Michael Jackson, a lot of people who not are our color would not be dancers or Michael Jackson impersonators. So people tend to forget that they get lost in the you know global thing that we all want. No, no, no. But remember, remember, this is not your culture. Remember, Michael Jackson and his family went through a very rough time in Gary, Indiana, back in the Civil Rights Movement. Michael, they came out in '69. Martin Luther King was shot in 1968. Do you, do you, can you fathom how it must have been being a black kid growing up in that time? Kid, like, bruh, it's not like it is today. It ain't equal. They had to work extra, extra, extra hard to get what they have. You feel me? And we can, we can, we can talk about Michael Jackson's skin color jeans. That had, that does not take away. From the fact his vitiligo does not take away from his culture and the fact that he was a black man come from a black family in a black neighborhood. He was black, 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 black. That's what it was. He black. Okay, guys? Understand that. Get it in your head. Remember that. Respect that. If you're a person not of color putting on that glove, tribute a black man, no matter if he was his skin went white or not, remember his skin went white, but his culture is still black. His skin went white, his culture is still black. You are not of our culture, so therefore, you do get a pass because, you know what I'm saying, Michael Jackson gave you guys a pass for that. That's cool. He gave everybody a pass to tribute Michael Jackson. But if you're anybody coming, taking from tributing any culture, you need to be, have respect. That's like, that's, that's like Michael Jackson, you know, he made the... the um, I think it was a, the, a side B to the Bad album that was all Hispanic. You know, Michael Jackson, you know, benefited off many different cultures. He had support from all over the world. Did you ever see Michael Jackson disrespect, no matter what intent he might have had, do you ever see him disrespect any culture for whatever reason? Never. Michael Jackson always had integrity and respect for whatever he went and where in every country. He had love for everybody. Now, people think just because Michael Jackson had 
equal love and unconditional love for every race, every culture, that he that some people think that any race, any culture can come to our culture and disrespect and do anything. No. No. That's not how it goes, guys. That's not how it goes. I had to sit around and look and think like, yo, I'm the only black tribute artist in this game, in this Michael Jackson community fandom, with the big voice that actually stands proud of being black. Navi don't stand proud on being black. E. Casanova don't stand proud on being black. I don't even know what these guys' real ethnicity ethnicity is, but they definitely don't stand for. They don't even, you can tell by the era they represent. You know what I'm saying? They represent a lighter skin Michael Jackson era. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So I'm, and I'm not hating on anybody's era. I'm not trying to divide anybody. I'm not trying to divide anybody. I love Michael Jackson. I love all the eras. I have my favorites, but I, is, this is bigger than that. This goes down to deep-rooted, you know, mental, you know, brainwashing. You feel me? For us, some, some of our own people think that lighter skin is better. I was one of them when I was a young kid. I admit it. I was one of them. I cut that switch off real quick when I got older. You feel me? So back to Sack MJ. So I tried to educate him. I said, hey, God, hey, man, I know your intentions of this. Because the photo was basically saying that, you know, we are all one. We're all the same, no matter the color. I get it. I get the message. I, I, I agree with it. I agree we all should be one. We all are equal. But that ain't how it is right now. Until we get our respect. Until our culture gets our respect. Until black people get our respect. Then we can, once, once we got our respect, then we can all come together. But right now, we ain't all together right now. Because the world is crazy. And it, and it, has, and it has to do with race. So we, we're not going to ignore like it ain't, ain't race. It's, it has to do with race. It always has been. And that's how this country was, was, was uh, built upon. Race, slavery, and prejudice. Racism, all that. So let's talk about it. We humans, right? We adults. Or some of you not adults, but we, we, we can talk about it. It's in our face right now. This is the perfect time to talk about it. And I felt this way for a long time, guys. Remember, I've been talking about this since Leaving Neverland. Your River Gibbs. Culture vultures. People, if not, if not of our culture, taken from our culture for their own benefits and then leaving the culture. What happened to him? He came, left, got his clout, rolled out when it got too hot. And who was on his neck? I got Somebody got to hold these guys accountable. Somebody has to hold these people accountable and check them before they come up here and start taking from us. You feel me? Like I said, if you're a person not of color, if you're a white person over here, if you're not of a black person... If you're feeling offended right now, sit back, put your pride aside, learn today. It's for you to learn. This ain't for me to try. This, this is not hate. Remember, this, this is not a hate. This is not no racism stuff. You know what I'm saying? This is cr criticize, remember, criticizing or discrimination of one's behavior. Poor judgment behavior does not equate to hatred of a person. You feel me? So just because you're getting criticized does not mean you're, this is hate. Understand that. Because you're being criticized does not mean I'm hating you. I don't hate anybody. I don't have that in my heart. But some of you guys act like little kids. And what happens when the little kids act up? You need to get popped. You need to get checked. You need to be disciplined. You guys have to sit back and chill out. Because there's a lot of things you've been told and what you've been going on, that ain't the way. And me being a person of color, I get offended by some of the stuff you guys do. And, I, and I've been quiet on it because, you know, I try to not make this thing about race. This is groovy era. I try to make, the, make, make things fun. I make fun videos for the Michael Jackson community. And, you know, and it's, that's what it's supposed to be about. But some of you guys get carried away. And especially, I know a lot of you guys, some of you guys are have racist parents. And, and it's, it's going to be uncomfortable talking about this for today, guys. But I'm going to be the one talking to you about it. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, back, let, let, me just, let me get back to Sack MJ anyway. And anyway, they post this picture. Immediately got backlash from black people, from me, Ivy King Jackson, Il Ulanzo from the MJ Avengers. MJ Avengers was like, yo, that, that ain't cool, bro. We get we get that you was trying to be peaceful. We get it. But this is no time for anyone, not even me, to be doing blackface. It's a mockery. We have a deep-rooted history with discrimination and racism with, with blackface. With white people putting on blackface. That should not happen. That should not happen, especially in the Michael Jackson community, especially in the Michael Jackson, especially in the Michael Jackson community. You guys have get, gotten way too disrespectful because nobody calls you out on it because we have too many fans all over the world who are not from our culture, who don't understand our culture, so they won't call you out on it. But I'm a man of the people. I'm a man of, I'm black, I'm a man of the culture. I'm going to call you out on it. Sorry. So I called him out on it. He disregarded me. Try to give me every reason in the world why I, why I shouldn't be offended. 
you as a non-person of color should not be doing things to offend me and then telling me how how you gonna tell me how you gonna put on blackface don't and, and then tell me oh it's not blackface it's just half it's half uh, it's half color so it's not full blackface so it don't count i don't care if you cornered this part of your cheek and, and made it black and try, nigga it's blackface and don't try to say well black and black tribute artists they put on white face yeah because michael jackson was a black man who happened to have a skin condition that causes blotches in his skin, which he had to start using lighter skin makeup to even out his skin tone. He was a black man that had to use lighter skin makeup to even out his skin tone. It wasn't until the dangerous era where he just had to really completely eliminate all his all his pigment because he didn't want to look like, you know, he didn't want to have all those blotches. He would have to put on makeup every day to maintain his image. And Michael Jackson was big on image. That's what sold. Michael Jackson had a very powerful image and it made money. He was he was big on image. Okay? And when we and if a, if a black tribute artist does put on lighter skin makeup, remember, Michael Jackson was my complexion during the black and white video. Let's, let's not forget, look at his wrist. You see they constantly putting on makeup on him so he can be even. He was a, he was my complexion with lighter makeup up until Dangerous Era. Okay, guys? Look at the look at the pictures of him and Madonna at the, at the 1990 I think, Music Awards. He was brown as me, maybe darker. Shauna Mangatow even said when she met Michael Jackson backstage at the Bad Tour, he was dark red. Like she shouldn't even she couldn't believe he was this brown, because she thought he was light skin from what they, all the makeup he had. Let's get it twisted. Michael Jackson had he he put on lighter skin makeup to even out his skin tone. He was trying he's losing his complexion, but it, but back to the tribute artists, if they're put they're putting on lighter skin makeup to look like a black man who had a skin condition, not to look like a white man and trying to take from your culture. We're still looking like a black African-American man. No matter what his skin color is, he's still black. So they're still paying tribute to a black man. Understand that. Understand that. He's not a white man. Stop, stop acting like he was a white man. It's because you have the same skin, skin complexion. You're not white. Just because I have the same skin complexion of maybe a Jamaican dude, I'm not Jamaican. You feel me? Somebody gonna sit here and say I'm Jamaican. Understand that. So, this dude just... Now, people in this comments talking about, yo, you disrespectful. This is blackface. I don't care what you say. Take it down, please. I said, yo, just take it down, bro. I sent him a message. He ignored me. He did, And then his girlfriend is trying... They disregarding every black person on here who disagrees with them. So then I put it on my story. I said, look, these guys are clowns. They're disrespecting our culture. I'm telling them it's not cool. I'm asking them to take it down as a black man. Who you, and how are you going to be saying you're trying to support my people, but then our people are telling you we are offended by blackface, and you still do it because you're, you and your girlfriend spend so much time on your little art project. Well, guess what? Being black in an art project, it's a lifestyle that you can't wash off. Understand that. You can't wash this off. This is permanent. That face, them tattoos and braids, you can take that out and wash it off. And you go back to your little privileged life. We can't go through that. So I found that mad offensive. That you're using art culture, art pain, as an art project. And then when we call you out on it, you're saying, oh, I'm an artist. I'm a makeup artist. I took time on this. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what nobody thinks. This is my, this is my work. Okay. Okay. Moon Travers, get them. Posted to my story, everybody immediately just went at him. At him. She had to, she ended up taking the she had to end up taking it down. And then she unblocked. Remember, they blocked me, right? They blocked me for disregarding my opinion. I'm trying to show you, I'm trying to help you out so you don't get, you know, get banned. Disregarding my opinion, blocked me. I said, okay, okay, unblock, okay, bet. I'm gonna make an example out of you. And then she unblocks me after she got all this backlash. She had, she had to turn her comments off. Got all this backlash. Well, all you had to do was take it down. How hard was it to take it down? You did something that was offensive to take it down. You had no right doing that. You, you had no right in the first place doing that. I don't care what the intent was. I don't care if you're trying to raise money for George. Like, yo, don't, you, blackface ain't never going to be it. Ever. Ever. And if you be offended, put your pride aside. Put your pride aside. You're not going to, I'm not letting any person out of color tell me why, why I shouldn't be offended. That's like telling, that's like telling a rape victim that she, that's like somebody slapping a woman in the butt 
a, a predator smacking a female in the butt who was already raped and telling her she shouldn't be offended because that man never raped anybody. It doesn't matter. You sexually harassing them. Whatever you want to call it, you sexually harassing. doesn't matter if you never raped anybody. That woman has been raped before. You are in the wrong. You can't tell her how to feel when you out of line. Because, because you don't think there was nothing wrong with it. Doesn't mean she shouldn't have a right to feel how she feel. Understand, you have to look at it from both sides of the plane, guys. This is not me just trying to bash anybody and trying to make rules. This is what it is. And people are afraid to speak up because they're afraid because we, we live in the, this Michael Jackson community is not a lot. There is very few black people in our community compared to, you know, the whites and, you know, Hispanic and all that stuff. It's very few. And I'm like the only tribute. It's me and a handful of tribute artists that really do this. I'm the only one with a voice. I'm the only one with the glow. I'm the only one that got a big platform to talk to you guys and you know I mean get my word across. So I, 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 it's my responsibility. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so then she unblocked me and then now she want to apologize. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I didn't know the language barrier. I'm like, you understood what I was saying. You have translator. You copied and you answered my questions. You didn't know exactly what you were doing. You disregarded me and you blocked me. But now, now that you got the backlash, oh, now you're sorry. Why, why do they always do that? Why, why do people do that? Why do race people do that? They just, they, they say they do anything they want because they, they, they use their privilege, do whatever they want. And then as soon as they get the backlash, oh, I'm sorry. I should have known better. I was ignorant. I, you know, me being from my country. Yo, racism is everywhere. That's not just America. That's everywhere. I ain't trying to hear that. And I just told you, TJ Jackson even just posted a video about and I know they found T.J. Jackson. Come on, you you know you saw that post. He even T.J. posted a video about the deep rooted negative history with blackface and you know and entertainment and how we had to deal, our, our ancestors had to deal with that. Our grandparents only had to deal with that. But yet these guys come to our Michael Jackson culture, come to our community, disregard everything that was black, and just just put on that. Put, they just want to put on their hair and makeup and dance like back over. Right? They want to do that all day, but they know, disregard everything. They don't watch. They don't watch the early stuff. They don't watch young black Michael Jackson. All they want to do is watch Dangerous in History and say that they they're Michael Jackson person. That's what that's what it's come down to. That's what a lot of guys do. They didn't go back and do their research. They didn't watch anything from the. They don't. They can't even tell you. A, de a, a song from the Destiny tour. They can't even tell you a song from the Triumph album. They can't even. They can't even. They can't. They can't even really watch the Victory tour. They don't like the Victory tour. They like everything lighter skin Michael Jackson, and that's a problem. That's a problem when you only focus on that. I don't care, bro, because I've done all the errors already. I grew up in history and dangerous. I grew up with that. I knew that. So, so now. She asked me to take the post down. No. Because when I asked you to take your picture down for some for a very, very legit reason, you said you disregarded me and blocked me. So no. I'm gonna let people see what kind of piece of S I S H I T you really are. And Sack MJ. You're ignorant. You know what I'm saying? Ignorant, arrogant, and you're not you you're not even worthy. I don't care how good you can dance. You're not worthy for that glove. If you're gonna come here and disrespect our culture, now I'm, I'm gonna hold you accountable for it. Nah. Nah, bruh. Nah. And then people were like, well, we got to stop making this about race. I will make stop making this about race when the world stop making it about race. You feel me? I will stop making it about race when you when some of these people that come not of our culture stop disrespecting and start listening to us. I will stop that then. And I've tried to come together, guys. I've been, I've been linking up. I've been collaborating with people for years since I've been in this game. I tried to be cool with J. Michael Lucas. He's a hater. I tried to be cool with these to Jay Sullivans, these E. Casanovas, these Sergio Cortez, Alex Valentinos. These guys are assholes. That's what they is. That's what they are. They hated. They hated me. I was one about. They hated me. They hated me because I was I was getting more buzz in them. They spent their whole lifetime being the man. I come with different approaches, get way more success off it, and then they hated me. But I kept my I kept my J. You never you never knew about none of that. I got hated from mad people. That's not, I'm not worried about y'all. Y'all is mad. Whatever. You wish you could have what I have. So I'm not mad. I don't care. But, but, and I, and, and I, you know, a lot of people don't. Let me, let me give you a little brief history on why there is an MJ Avengers. It's because of me, because my original plan, and I had, and I never told anybody, but 
after I did the 2018, this is two years ago now, after I did the We All the World uh, Traps and Version, the I saw your girl, all that, that, and that was like, you know what? <sighs> we need, I need to do a We Are the World with every single Michael Jackson impersonator and tribute artist. This was a big long shot plan that I was I was I was working on. I mean, I had over a hundred tribute artists, a hundred MJ fans, female, male. It didn't matter. I didn't care if I didn't like you. I reached out to guys that didn't, that didn't like me that I knew they didn't like me. I was talking trash about me. I put my pride aside. We tried to reach out to these guys to get them to come together. That's why and, 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 you know. And so I reached out to Ecast. Of course, he didn't want to do. It. He's like, you know what? I'm, I'm like the Michael Jordan of this, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't be seen with all of them. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a competition. I said, it's only going to be a competition if you make it a competition. I said, nobody going to sing Michael Jackson's part of the other world. We're going to let Michael Jackson sing that part. And we sing all the other parts. And Jeffrey was going to do it. Uh, uh, Justin Dean was going to do it. Uh, Fabio was going to do it, even though he's he's already made himself clear that he's not of our culture. He's just, he just a culture vulture. I, I, I had mad people. That was gonna do it. Now your people like Jalis Franca didn't want to do it. Of course he didn't want to do it. He's in it for himself. He's not for Michael Jackson. He was in it for himself. This this would have went viral, guys. Imagine all your favorite tribute artists. Can you imagine everybody you love? Ecas, Sergio, Jeffrey. You know what I'm saying? Navi. Of course Navi didn't want to do it. I'm like, why are you guys denying the opportunity of this is this is gonna be huge? It didn't matter how big or small. I'm talking about. We I had kids that was like 100, 100 followers. I said, even if you can't sing, just give me some dance clip. I wanted this thing to be everybody. Everybody who tributes Michael Jackson be a part of this We Are The World project. It was a secret project. I said, just give me your videos. I'll edit it. I put my pride aside and I invited people that I knew hated me and hated on me. But I said, you know what? This, this, We're going to do this for Mike. I said, it was going to be his 60th birthday. I said, I want, no, yeah. No, I'm lying. It, 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 we missed the 60th birthday. It was gonna be his 61st birthday. Sorry, but it would been the 10 year. It's gonna be for the, it, was gonna, it was gonna be for the 10 year anniversary of his death. So I wanted to do something really big for Michael. Of course, you know, everybody had an ego. Not everybody, but the majority. The Jalis Frankas had an ego. Ecas had an ego. Sergio Cortez didn't respond to me. He responded, but he tried to give me the runaround. T uh. Ricardo Walker, ego. All these dudes with egos. And some of them don't even have a platform. I'm like, I want to help you out. Because my my followers going to look at Charm and be like, oh, these dudes are pretty good. Let me check them out. Now, like, what do you, this is an opportunity for everybody. It's not just about me. This wasn't for me. Trust me, I was going to only have like two seconds in the video. This was for Michael. I want to do this for Michael. And we had a whole chat going on. And little by little, everybody weeded themselves out. So, long story short, we the only people that lasted from that whole little clique was the MJ Avengers. Brandon, Lonzo, Lynx, Ivy, Krista, Erica, uh, it was Michael Adonis, and uh, my, my cousin Baron. Uh, and uh, Captain EO. Only ones that lasted that. Because they had an ego. I said, I try to bring people together. It didn't work out. Too many, too much ego in this fandom when you're not Michael Jackson. You are a soldier, supposed to be a soldier for Michael Jackson. I try to make something that no, y'all you, you, know me. The videos I make, I try to give you something nobody ever seen before. A funny twist or a dope video that nobody ever seen me this, this side before. So I try to give you something different. And this would have been the perfect video. We are the world with every tribute artist. I'm talking about all the big ones, all the small ones, everybody. But you know, but you know who wasn't? You know who didn't have an ego? The the one person who had the least ego out of everybody, Roger Go Teaser. And he has the biggest following. That's what I'm saying. The people with the bigger following are the most humble. And these guys that got 1,500 followers and do a little show, whatever, in Paris, they think they're Michael Jackson. They think they, they think you should be kissing the ground. They walk on like, no, dude, we don't need you. We already we already said we're cool. We're trying to help you. We're trying to help. We're trying to do a big cause. Put your pride aside. What's up with y'all all this pride? I got to say this, man, because you guys need to know this about these, these Michael Jacksons, bro.
And nobody was going to tell me this when I came in the game. Nobody wanted to talk about it because nobody, everybody afraid of losing their job at MJ Live or whatever. That, that show is racist anyway. They don't, they, don't want black, they don't even want black Michael Jackson at MJ Live. They're, they said we want all white Michael Eric Jackson. They don't want to, and if you look at, well, I'm going to talk about it later about the whole Jackson 5 melody guy. That shit is the coon show. It's a coon train. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking on facts, bro. This is stuff we need to wake up for. We, this needs to change now. All this racism and all this prejudice, and, and you need to respect. So, like I said, I, tr I try to, and, and, you know, Giles is in there talking, oh, you know, it's great to be a part of the tribute. He didn't follow nobody. I'm following him. He didn't want to follow nobody back. He didn't want to, he, he, he didn't really, he said, this is cool and all, but I don't want to be a part of this. Like, it's like, what, like, what are you doing, dude? You're really only in it for you. Now, I understand you had a, you had a brand and you want to you know make sure you take care of your brand. I get that. I'm brand too, but it comes a time where it's okay. It's not always about me. That's why you see in my traps, yo. It was multiple people that was a part of that. My team, I should give everybody shine. Even with the videos of Mike Light, I got gave him a platform to shine as Prince, and I and I supported his 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 work as Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? My my page and stuff, you see multiple people in my page. It ain't just me for my skits and stuff. Go to their page. It's all about them. They're the Michael. They're the new Michael of this generation. No, you're not. No, you're not. So, so back to, so, so now I already addressed the sack MJ. They took the pictures down, whatever, because they fold under pressure. They try. They 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 disrespect, disregard the black people. I'm gonna do what we want because we have color. I mean, because we, we don't have any color, we we're privileged. Whatever. Got shut down. Now 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 everybody calling y'all racist. Now y'all wanna apologize? Like, like, come on, bro. So we shut that down quick. You know what I'm saying? That was easy. Shut down. Shut that nonsense down very quick. And the reason why we had to shut it down, and I'm so I'm so I mean passionate about it because if we let that slide, then the next thing he gonna be doing is painting himself fully black, and then he gonna be doing. I mean, uh, he gonna be doing Destiny era with a fro. Now he just straight culture voting, just paint blackface every show, doing black Michael Jackson, stealing from us. Now you got the young, you know what I mean, young young black tribute artists that might want to come up. They can't even come up. And mind you, this tribute game is racist. It's racist. Why do you think there's no major black tribute artists popping? All the ones that glorified are not of color. They're not even black, Michael Jack. They're not even black. It's some white dudes from overseas with surgery looking like Michael Jackson. Meanwhile, my black brothers that are very talented that can outdance half of these dudes, maybe more than that, don't get no love because people want to see white Michael Jackson. And that's just what it is. I'm sorry, guys. That's what it is. That's what it is. If it makes you feel uncomfortable, maybe it's not you. Am I saying it's you? Remember, I'm not talking to you. But if it does apply to you, Put your prize to the side and just listen for a second. Learn something today. You know what I'm saying? And this is a, this is, this is a very uncomfortable conversation. And it may offend people, but it has to be said. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of my friends suffering it. I'm tired of looking at Ivy King Jacks. I'm tired of looking at people calling her this and that, you know, that because she's, you mean, black, whatever. I've been seeing it all the time, but I'm tired of that. I'm the only one. I'm the only one, bruh. That gets the love, which I'm grateful for. I appreciate you guys. I did it. I had to do it, and I had to do it in a different way. I had to do the trap side. I had to give him my. I had to put more of our culture in there because it's been overshadowed by all these people who are not from our culture, just but making money off of it. That's what I'm saying. And you know, I'm not. And I wasn't mad at that. As long as as long as it's done with respect, it's our culture. We share our culture with you guys. Got you know what I'm saying. Us black people, we share our culture with you. No problem. On a great day, there's no problem. We don't, but you gotta respect. Or oh, we we pulling that card. I'm putting. I'm. I keep my receipts. I'm pulling your card. You feel me? I'm. I'm. I'm gonna read more of the comments once I finish my my point. So. I know I, I got my opinions about some of these tribute artists because they just don't respect them. You get your jealouses and stuff like that. And I was like, this dude, man, is so disrespectful. Then I'm looking at him wearing this wig and like the jet, like that whole that whole my MJ Live, <clears throat> excuse me, that whole MJ Live 
Uh, J5 Melly is a joke. They got white people up there with Jackson Five with, with Afros doing Jackson Five tributes. While Giles Frank, who is not a black man, he's from think, from Brazil or something like that. He's from not from our country. Doesn't even, he's not even from our he don't speak our language. I mean, he speaks it now, but he's not from he's not from our culture. He's not from our country. Yet yeah, this dude up here, pale face, rocking a wig. I mean, rocking a, 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 a Afro, disrespecting. The legacy of the Jackson, that is some culture vulture stuff. I don't care which one, it was the most mayonnaise encrusted version of the Jackson 5, making money off it, and nobody's saying nothing. Nobody's saying nothing. We gotta protect our culture, guys. We gotta protect our Michael Jackson. We have to hold a candle to these dudes and hold them accountable. You feel me? These guys need to be held accountable for this crap. I'm not, I'm not with this at all, bruh. I'm not with this at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not for that, bro. That that I saw that I saw that show live. Not I, I did not like that at all. I did not like that Jackson Five coonery show. There was not no. That was not a. They they put no effort into the Jackson Five tribute. That's what I'm saying. They didn't even hire a black man to do Michael, bro. This is what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Taking from our culture and then disrespecting it. Like you know what I'm saying? Taking the crap all over like it's nothing, acting like as if Black Michael Jackson does, 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 is not as equal or is not as great as the, the solo career of lighter skin Michael Jackson. That's that's how they think. That's how they feel. They feel that. They they about that. And I know this because I've heard them say it. I heard these guys say it. I heard them say it. nobody likes Black Michael Jackson no more. It's all about it's all about dangerous. We love whiter Michael Jackson. Oh, snap. Thank you, Amer another Skywalker. You said, again, thank you for taking on this issue, culture vultures. Um, everyone wants to be black until the until the cops show up. Yeah, and then that girl with the, that did the makeup for Sack MJ, she gonna tell Ivy King Jackson, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to thank you. I wish I had your skin. I said, I, I'm reading this. I'm like, she said she what? She wish she had our skin. Yo, this I'm talking about, bruh. They do disrespectful stuff. Then try to cover up. I wish I had, no. You wish you had our skin. What kind of disrespectful stuff is that, bro? These people need to be checked. Point blank. Period. This ain't no racism. This is just protecting our culture. Because look, you let one get away with it, the next person gonna do it. Monkey see, monkey do. How you think we got here in the first place? We let too much stuff slide. We, just, we let it slide so much. They was damn near this close to put in the white, that, that white dude supposed to play Michael Jackson in that British documentary. We was this close to getting that, bruh. This close a couple years ago for that. We've been slacking on this. And it's bigger than Michael Jackson, guys. But I'm just talking to you guys because that's what, I know that's what y'all focus is at. I know y'all love Michael Jackson so much and stuff like that. But you guys have to be reminded. That it's not cool. It's very, I, I'm, as, as a person of color, it's very disrespectful. And how dare any person who have not, have not a color to tell me why, why I shouldn't be feeling offended about what you people who are not of color doing to our culture. Because we know you guys take your culture very seriously. So have some respect for ours. Remember, this is not no hate. This is just criticism. I don't hate Sack MJ. I don't hate Jalas Franca. I'm just criticizing and discriminating their behavior. That's all it says, guys. Just like I did River Gibbs. He was a culture roger. He was not of our culture. Came and he didn't care nothing. About, he even told me he don't know. He don't. He told me he don't know nothing about Black Michael Jackson. He only focuses on history. And when I say black Michael Jackson, I'm, you know what I mean. I'm saying like brown skin Michael Jackson. I gotta be clear. Brown he doesn't he doesn't know anything about brown skin Michael Jackson. They only care about history because he looked white there, and they're white, and they only re resonate with that. But people like me, people like Lynx, people older people, we we, we grew up with this. We studied all the eras. We know we love every single piece. We get it. We take it, all of it. They don't have any respect, guys. 
what I'm saying? These guys are cooning. Coon. Straight up. And let's let's protect this video, guys. Please smash that like button if you want to hear it. I appreciate everybody seeing here. Share this video. Don't let the toxic MJ fans try to twist my words of what they did last year. Trying to say that I call Michael Jackson a pedophile. I never call Michael Jackson a pedophile. Don't, don't let them try to twist this video up and say that I'm being racist or anything. Because I'm not racist at all. You know what I'm saying? I can't be racist. I'm not even... You can't be a person. You can't... I, you, I just can't be racist, bruh. I don't have it in our heart. Black people don't have it in our hearts to be racist. You know what I'm saying? That's, just not, that's, that's not in our DNA. We're anti-racist. But we got to protect what's ours, bro. Like, like I said, we gave y'all a pass to be able to do this. You better respect it. And now it's to the point they don't want, they don't want black tribute artists doing these shows. They're not hiring them. They want the white guys. Or they want the guys that's lighter skin of whatever different country or whatever looking like uh, Dangerous Eric Michael Jackson. The tribute industry has neglected everything black Michael Jackson. Give you a little medley, whatever. You can do a little medley, a little J5 medley, whatever. They do this. I know this. This is why I don't want, this is why I don't want to be in their show. This is why you don't see me doing their shows. I peeped this from Jump Street. I peeped what the game was. I never talked about it. I kept it in. But now is the perfect time to address this. And it's an uncomfortable conversation, but it needs to be had. Like I said, if you feel offended by this video or by this message, put your pride aside. See it from my view. For once, put your pride aside. Understand that it's not about you. It's about what's right. You feel me? It's about what's right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. There you go. It ain't about y'all. Let me get to some of these questions, man. You said you don't have to explain yourself. Speak your truth. Keep it moving and don't apologize. Exactly. Now, I'm, I'm going to address what I said to, uh, I, you know, my last stream. I did turn up on Alex Blanco. You know, he caught me at a bad time. He was trying to defend Fabio's actions without knowing all the facts. He apologized to me. I apologized to him. Me and Alex Blanco have been cool way before this traps and stuff. So, you know, um, so let's declare the air. I have no problems with Alex Blanco. He understands. And he, you know, he's, he's cool. You know what I mean? We can all come together once we get our respect, guys. You know what I'm saying? And until that, we got to hold you guys accountable, bro. You know what I'm saying? The Jacksons went through too much to get where we, where we at. You guys who are tributing to Michael Jackson, who are not of color, wouldn't have jobs if it wasn't for the struggle that the young black Jackson family had to go through. You guys tend to forget that. All you think about is white dangerous era history. You see that? You forget about the struggle that the Jacksons had to go through. You don't care about that. You don't care about us. You just care about your little 10 seconds of fame online trying to, they don't care about that. that, that, that. You just care about looking like somebody else full time. Disregarding everything else. Now, this is not me saying you shouldn't, you should only like black Michael Jackson. This is not what I'm saying at all. I'm not, uh, everybody has their own era. My brother Lynx, he's a black dude, darker than me. Favorite era is bad. You know why? For the moves. The attitude. And you can't deny that. It ain't because of skin color, it's because of the grooves, because of the moves. This is why I love victory. Yes, he looked great as a brown because he's naturally brown. He looked great as a brown man. That's his element. You, know, you feel me? 
to me, he looked more natural there. It was less makeup. It, was, it just looked more natural. He was young. It was before all that BS that happened after the, you know, the surgeries and all the allegations. It just was a better vibe. I'm a very energetic person. I can sense energy. Now, I know he has some dif some difficulties with his brothers, but when he on stage, none of that even exists. So the vibe of Michael back then was cool because he wasn't worried about none of that stuff. So I saw it from a dial. I like Michael Jackson, the victory era and the bad era and the, and the triumph era for way different reason. Way, it's bigger than the production. It's just a groove thing. It's groovy. You understand? So, all I'm saying, guys, hold, if, you, if you're a person of color on here, if you're black, let me just call it, let me just call it. If you're a black person on here, let me get to this. Let me just answer the super chat on here. Uh, thank you, Jesse Hernandez. You said, hey, Travis, do you remember when Michael Jackson said, prejudice is ignorance? Uh, at the end, black, uh, uh, at the end of black or white, it's sad nothing would ever change. Yes. Yes, and what sad MJ did was, was prejudice. And his girlfriend, and then they try to be slick. He, he took it down, and they try to be slick, and she tried to keep up on her page, like, as if nobody's going to say nothing. I'm like, no, like, I'm going to say something. You take it down. You're not about to sit here and make, get clout off our culture, especially, and then, and then, what's this what I really hate about these, these people? They, and when I say these people, I mean these, these vultures, not white people, just people who vote your culture vote. When you check them, whatever, they love to say that you're being, when, you, when you're checking them and being not a mush mouth and just, just coming at them with facts and putting your, putting your foot on their neck with facts and, you know, putting, fully putting the pressure on them with just bars. They love to say, oh, he attacked me. He used bad words with me. He, he was really, he lost his values in himself trying to come at me. I'm like, bro, no, my values have been locked in. My, my, I'm very focused on what I want out of the situation right now. I want you to respect our culture and take the nonsense down and stop being a culture vulture. That's what I want. So I didn't lose no value. You lost the value. You have no value. You have no value in yourself. That's why you want to be part of our culture and take our culture and then make money off it. You don't have no value. You don't have no value in yourself. You don't have no value in yourself because you, you, you spend... All your time just like Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Trapson for me is an art project. A very fun art project that I do where I get to tribute my favorite entertainer of all time. That's that's not my it's it's an alter ego, which I had the option to turn on, turn on, turn on and turn off when I want. So my moonwalkers and my my followers can see and enjoy this. I actually produce something to the fandom. Films. Music videos, something to listen to. I stood up. My first videos were staying up for Michael Jackson when nobody was saying anything. I just said he didn't never touch those kids if you, if you didn't know. Stop hating on my nose if you didn't know. Just because I wanted to, not, for no, not because Michael Jackson was trending. Nobody was even talking about Michael Jackson. I did it because I'm a real fan. And I felt like I had the, something was calling me to do that. I wanted to speak up for my man in a different, unique way. It has never been seen before. That everybody, everybody thought about. They thought about what a gangster Michael Jackson would be. What if he just didn't care, just came out and said stuff? Because at one point we all wanted that. So that's why I did it. You know what I'm saying? And it worked. And the Jacksons think it's fire. So I'm not being disrespectful. They're being disrespectful. So, you know, shout out to everybody in here. I appreciate the, the love, the glow nations that was, don that was donated today. Um, you know what I'm saying? I really appreciate you guys for, for tuning in with me. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's a real uncomfortable conversation to have, but it needs to be said. People need to be called out on it. I call them out. I will call them out every time. Hold on. Hold on one second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry. All right. Sorry about that. People need to be held accountable. Because this is real. And I don't like attacking people. I'm, a, I'm really about positive energy right now. But we are at a spiritual warfare right now. It's a war going on. Spiritual warfare right now, guys. 
and we need to protect, and black people need to protect our culture. They trying to, they trying to, they killing us for no reason, bruh. They killing us because you, did you, did you guys realize that? And by the law, it says that black people, not, we're not even really citizens of this country. Bruh, so our culture is all we got. We not even, why do you think cops get away with killing us? All these, because technically we're not even real, we're not even real, uh, we're not even, um, real citizens of the, of the country. So of course they're killing us. We're killing us like we, we, we three-fifths of a human. They really think that we're three-fifths of a human. When we're the original humans anyway. We were the first humans. Black people, black women especially, were the first humans of black female. We all came from a female. The female genetic is the most divine and powerful. So that's why you gotta respect your females. You feel me, dudes? Like, I'm all this man, we just it's been corrupted by egotistical egotistical men of power in this world. Uh thank you, um, was it bad ba, uh B A uh zero nine four two. I'm sorry, I don't know what you I, I, I'm gonna call you uh I'm gonna call you uh nine I'm gonna call you bad ninety nine. Thank you for the glow nation. He said, Trapson, you are spitting facts. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, it disappeared, I'm sorry. It says, uh, hold up. Sorry, sorry, I lost it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It says, Trapson, you are spitting facts. Love your, uh, love your videos, great content. Love to see more Mike and Prince videos with Mike Light. Um, I love Mike, I love Mike dark and light skin. I don't believe he molested those kids. Love that you're Latino, I'm Puerto Rican, huepa, te amo. Gracias. I uh, appreciate you so much. Yes, uh, th well, there probably won't be no videos of Mike Light. I'm telling you that right now because, like I said, he's moving on to different things. I'm just more tapped into myself. You're not going to see Mike Light on here no more. So if you're going to see a Prince video, it'll probably most likely be me. And that's how I started doing them Prince MJ videos in the beginning anyway. I was doing them as me. I was playing Prince and I was playing Michael when I first started. So that's kind of where I'm going back to. I'm going back to the roots, guys. But right now, it ain't the time for Prince MJ videos. I do have another one, obviously the, the the Prince and MJ live stream, which I did. So I'm waiting. There's not an appropriate time to be posting anything like that related right now. We have to, we have serious issues in this world right now that need to be addressed. You know what I'm saying? And while we at it, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna start drowning the swamp. Drown it right now. We're gonna need to drown the swamp of this Michael Jackson community. All these vultures that come in here and just take 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 take. What happens to all those people that was for this Leaving Neverland movement? Where happens to all of them? What happens to all the? Oh well, I'm, like, I'm, I'm gonna speak for Michael Jackson now. Where are they at now, though? A lot of people, a lot of people act like they ride for Michael Jackson when the, that's all that's, that's all that's on the media. They look, but look where you at now? I don't see you, bro. I don't see none of y'all. Yeah, I'm still here. And while that stuff was going on, I was on the front lines, bro, representing, playing my part. You feel me? People only want to act sincere and show empathy when they, when they feel like they can benefit off it for the, for momentary, momentary, momentarily. So I'm getting my words all, all switched up. Just for, you know, just for momentarily. For real, for real. They just in it for the moment. Just fill up their own little benefits. I'm tired of saying that, dog. Because I just feel like they don't care about the culture, man. It goes back to the culture. It always goes back to the culture. And in a perfect world, yeah, I, I don't want it to be about race. In a perfect world, I wish, I, you know what I mean? It don't matter what color you are. Put that glove on and, and tribute Michael Jackson. In a perfect world, you know what I'm saying? I want everybody to get along and let's, let's come together. You know what I'm saying? Like Michael Jackson said, I, in a perfect world, that's, what I, that's why I came in with that mentality. But... I realized this industry and this this game, this community, it ain't like that. These guys, some of them are prejudiced and racist. You got people like J. Michael Lucas, who is not black at all. He's a white dude, Michael Jackson tribute artist, saying the N-word. Like it's cool. Nope, around black people, nobody checking them. You got people like Fabio who is so damn arrogant. Let me, tell, let me tell you why I don't like Fabio. Let me tell you why I don't like Fabio and Jackson. Now, we, man, like I said, when I first came in the game, 
Of course, Fabio, oh, I love what you do, brother. Show him love. I was sharing his videos, getting him followers and all that stuff, sharing his picture, let him go viral, all that stuff. You know what I mean? I was showing him hella love. He was cool for years. I ain't no, I know. You can look back on my videos. I was saying I wish Fabio could have played, you know, in some of these Michael Jackson movies for the Daniels era. But then I started realizing that Fabio is not a tribute artist. Fabio is a Michael Jackson uh, swagger jacker. Because if you look at Fabio, you can see that he clearly got his nose done. He has Michael Jackson's same shaped nose, but then he lies. Just like Ecas Nova, he lies and says that he never got surgery and that his, his look is a gift. Bruh, who you fooling, bruh? You ain't fooling nobody. You know what I'm saying? So that already rubbed me the wrong way. But, you know, tweet your zone. Do you. That's your wife. That's your life. You want to lie about your life? Okay, that's cool. But then it's like, the reason why I don't like Fabio is because, you know, when I put out Traps and EO, Everybody knew that was a lot. That was a lot of hard work to put into that. You know, that was something for the, that was something for the MJ fans. EO was a, a EO was something that's really been kind of like low key. It's like a, a hidden gem in the Michael Jackson archive. So I try to bring that John back, put some glow on it. You know what I'm saying, bring it, bring it up, mix it with the Last Dragon, yada yada yada. I try to do something crazy, whatever. That John came out fire. Everybody showing me love. Everybody sharing it. Everybody just tuning in, tapping in, really yummy, and giving me my my kudos for it. Here comes Fabio. Oh, it was great, brother, but I can tell you didn't know how to end the movie. I said, what do you mean? He said, it just, it felt like it should have ended so many times and you just kind of went around with it. I'm like, and me being the creator, I'm like, okay, I get your constructive criticism, but I'm like, I'm getting criticism from some, some dude who knows nothing about editing, know nothing about the hard work I put in. All you do is post selfies, dude, you barely even dance. So I'm like, all right. I said, well, I said, well, bro, it was point simple. I'm trapped to EO, son of EO. I was on Earth. A hooter, I mean, a scooter and YOLO came to get me, to, to unlock my glow. I beat the bad guys. I met Michael Jackson through the, through, through the, uh, what you call it? Uh, how do you say that? The hologram. He, he crowned me the, the, the new one with the glow, the man with the glow. I'm going back to, the, uh, to, to, glow, to Planet Glow with the team, the glow team, and the story. What are you talking about? I didn't know how to end the movie. I'm like, whatever, but get out of my face. And then he was like, yeah, well, it doesn't matter because I'm going to make my own movie. I'm going to make my own movie where I go to a different planet like EO. And I'm going to be fighting aliens and trying to, trying to change the world with the music of Michael Jackson. I'm like, so basically he just dissed my movie and tell me he's going to do a better one. That's what he just told me. This man just dissed, Fabio Jackson dissed my Traps to EO movie he, with a backhand compliment. Sam's okay, but I should have done this and that. And then telling me that he's gonna make a better film than me. With him dressed like with him dressed like EO or something like that. And he can't even dance. I'm not no, I'm not the great, 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 best dancer. Let's just keep it. I'm not, I know I'm still learning. I'm, I'm still got some things. But he can't dance nowhere as good as me. I'm sorry. I got way more rhythm. I'm way more groovier. He can't hold a candle to me. So I'm like, alright, whatever, bro. I just stopped talking to him. Then I'm, I just unfollowed him. I just stopped talking to him. He kept messaging me. Hey, bro, can you follow me? My new page, follow me. I'm like, I'm, I, I just thought I wasn't even talking, so I didn't want. I didn't like his energy. His energy was off. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Before, before I unfollowed them, I um. No, okay. So after that, a few months went by. I, the mood challenge came out. You know, everybody doing it. All the tribute artists is doing it. All my friends are doing it. that. Jump was popping. The mood challenge was fire. It was a, nobody came at my mood. Uh, nobody like that. So start started out 2020 with a banger. You know how I do. I always start the year with a new song a banger. So, and, uh, you know, I say, hey, bro, um, it'd be dope if you could do this mood challenge with me. Everybody killing me. You look like Daniel's era. Let's just get it. Let's get popping. Whatever. And he's like, because I'm saying you didn't do the tap challenge. You didn't do this, John. You never danced to any of my songs. So I was like, yo, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I thought you'd be my homie. Like, show me some live, bro. Alex Blanco did it. Rodrigo Teaser did it. And he got 400 some thousand followers, millions of views like me on YouTube. He did it. He got a piece of part of a big show. You're not doing nothing but taking selfies. So, I was, but, then, but then again, I said, he said, and you know what he told me? He gave me the runaround. He said, oh, I don't like being, I don't like being on camera that much, bro. So I didn't want to do the video. I'm like, all you do is be on camera taking selfies. I'm like, okay, whatever. He was like, but, um, you know, but I'll, but I'll, 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 I'll listen to your song. You know what I mean? Just kind of like downplay my whole situation. 
I was like, all right, whatever. If you don't want to do it, that's his, that's, his, that's his choice. He don't have to do my video. I'm not, I don't have that much of a... I'm like that. I'm not narcissistic where I feel like you have to do it. I'm like, whatever. If you don't want to do it, okay, cool, whatever. But after that, the next day, he posts a video of him dancing to Michael Jackson. So I was like, oh, wow. But you just, you just told me you didn't want to dance to my song because you don't like being on camera. But yet you're in the kitchen dancing, doing all this stuff. That, that. I said, okay, whatever, Fabio Jackson is fake, whatever, I'm, I'm cooled off, whatever, let him do him, I'm, I don't care about that. But then, but then, y'all y'all know, when I was when, the, when I was dropping the mood videos, the mood challenge or anything, you, you know what my swag was. Red hoodie, uh, blue jean jacket, blue pants, and whatever, that was my steed. I had the, I had the, 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 the red Beat of Force ones on, and the white, uh, and the, for, the, for the music video, I had the white shoes on. Bruh. Why when Drake posted the uh the I can dance like Michael Jack son the, the, he did the he did the the uh the with that whatever that slide was that that challenge that Drake challenge Michael Jackson challenge dance like Michael Jackson challenge he did that joint and guess what he was wearing blue jean jacket red hoodie blue jeans just like my mood video outside in a similar location basically he just swagger jacked my whole video he swagger jacked my whole video. That's that's not that's, that's some culture vulture stuff in itself. He said, you know what? I'm not gonna do your joint. I'm not gonna do your challenge, even though everybody else is doing it. Cause I don't. Cause he the reason why he didn't want to do it, but probably cause he can't dance and he didn't want to be compared to everybody else. That's that's what it was. He didn't want. He he got so much of an ego because he looks like Michael Jackson a little bit. Even though he don't. If you look, if you put him in the light and like me right now, he will look like Josh Hartnett. He don't really like Michael Jackson. He just he makes himself like Michael Jackson with angles and editing. Come on, but I seen this dude. Talking just like me, I see him in FaceTime. He looks like Josh Hartnett with long hair. That's what that's what that's what Alex Blanco looks like. Be real, he does not like Michael Jackson, and he'll tell he'll tell you, oh, I don't look like Michael Jackson. Michael looks like me. It's a gift. I said that the audacity, the audacity to say something like that. How can you sit here and steal from our black? Remember, Michael Fabio is not of our culture. Coming here. Still in swagger jacket, Michael Jackson, and have the nerve to say that Michael Jackson looks like you? Bro, you like 22, 23 years old. You're a young boy. You know what I'm saying? This, yeah, Fabio Jackson, the one with the long hair, all the girls, Fabio, him. He's an arrogant piece of work, bro. He's arrogant. He's not, he's not humble. He, and that's, that's, that's what I hate about these tributes. They, they have this fake humbleness, this fake Michael Jackson voice. Oh, you know, you know, well, we have to stand up for what's right, and we have to just do this for other... Shut up! Shut up! Sh shut <laughs> Shut up! I hate that. I hate it, because it's not you. It's not you. It's not you. Stop hiding behind Michael Jackson's personality 24-7. Now, when I do it, it's for a funny video. It's fun. I'm being real right now, but these dudes do it 24-7 and act like that's them. That's not you. It's not you. And then people fall in love with this idea of them because they think that they're doing this for Michael Jackson. No, they're doing it for, because, bro, how much you want to bet? If there was no social media and there was no tribute game, these dudes wouldn't be dressing like Michael Jackson, looking like Michael Jackson. There wouldn't be no Fabio Jackson, no Sergio's, whatever. They wouldn't be doing this. You know what I'm saying? So let's call it what it is, bro. You doing it because you want to get likes. And then even that one, your, the buzz on that went down. You're not even as popping as you used to be. So just shut up and be humble. You know what I'm saying? So then, so then, with the, so the, even then, he, he took my, remember, he took my, and I, and I, made, I, made, I did a video, I think it was, uh, I think one of my reaction videos where I called it out. I said, this nigga Fabio Jackson just took my whole steeds. But I, I, I was laughing. I was like, ha, ah, he took my steeds, whatever, whatever. I don't care. You got it, whatever. But then I hit him up. I said, hey, man, uh, I said, that's a nice uh, mood, mood era look. Everybody, every, everybody knew that was the mood, even before the corona shit, it was mood era. Everybody was saying mood error, you know. Even people, people were drawing pictures of me with that look. I tried to make it, my art cover with the same. I, I tried to imprint that look because I wanted that to be the look of the era, like how Michael Jackson for Beat It had a red jacket and you know black pants, and you know he had his looks for his eras. You know, I want to, I want to have my looks for my different eras too, and for my Travis era, like Neverland Dungeon was the Wheel of the World jacket, jacket with the tattoos on it and stuff. That's that's the Neverland Dungeon era. You know what I'm saying? So like I want I wanted to have my my era too like so just like traps the EO era that was you know the, the glow glove you know what I'm saying the the glow nuff all that that was the EO that's that you know what I'm saying so I wanted to have my era so this boot this dude took the the swag and I said hey yeah that's a good tribute to you know mood or whatever he said he said oh 
No, no, was it? Cause I, I was just doing me. I said what? He said I didn't recognize, but yeah, huh, it is kind of similar. I said similar. You took my whole swag. You took my whole steez and the video. You took my whole scenery. You just stole. You just shit up swagger jack me, bro. Like and didn't give me no credit. And then lied to me saying saying you don't want to be dancing because you're scared to be on camera. But yet you're dancing to Drake. And that joke was terrible. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so yeah, so when he got called, when I called him out on this stuff, and he's up here cursing out MJ fans, saying, from, from people who just, who just holding a mirror up to his face, and, hey, bro, you were doing this for clout, da 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 and, and he's saying, you know, all this stuff, and going back and forth with my friends, whatever, and they're going to tell somebody, yeah, well, you know what I'm saying, uh, you're younger than me, but you're not gonna look half as good as me as you get older because you know I'm gifted. You know I mean I look young for my age. Just talking trash, you arrogant piece of what, bro? You, will... oh my god, I can't stand these dudes because if they was in my face, if they was in my face, they wouldn't say none of that, none of that. You know what I'm saying? None of that. They wouldn't say none of that. They'd be, they'd be oh Travis and bro, what's up, bro? Love you, man. No, you won't be can't. You won't be disrespecting nothing. He hide behind these cameras, but he hide behind these little platforms. And then I said, hey, I try to give him a chance. I said, hey, dude, um, I know you love Michael Jackson. I know you have a good heart, even though you went about it the whole wrong way. Let's go live. Let's talk about it. I'm going to give you a platform to talk and try to defend yourself. I'm going to shut you down. I'm going to put you with these facts, but I'm going to give you at least a chance to give your side. Of course, he just read it in there and want to respond to it. Didn't want to respond to it, but goes on his story complaining. Oh, oh. People are attacking me. They're calling me racist. Oh my god! I just, they just, I did nothing. I did. Uh, d d d shut up, bro. I hate. I can't stand a whiny ass grown man, bro. You a grown man crying like a little girl, crying like a seven year old girl who couldn't get no cookies. You know what I'm saying? Yo, man up, bro. And, and Fabio did this every time, bro. Like it's been numerous of times, numerous of challenges that was going around, going around. Everybody like Fabio, where you at? Oh, always, I hate a man that's making all these, all these excuses. Oh, I, I'm in pain. Uh, oh, oh, my hair is not done. Oh, I don't want to be on camera this week. Oh, you know what I'm saying? It's hard for me. You have to understand, it's hard. It's like, shut this, this, this whiny, sensitive, this, this, this feminine energy. Dude, you a grown man. Stop acting. They only want to act sensitive because Michael Jackson was sensitive. But Michael Jackson wasn't no no cornball like that. Michael Jackson did that for the cameras to you know to to, to connect with people and be soft spoken. But behind closed doors, Michael Jackson was getting business done. He wasn't making excuses. He was knocking things off. Why didn't he got what he got in the first place? He had a go getter mentality. These guys, uh, I just want peace. I just, I'm Fabio. Hi, you know, I don't look like Michael. Michael looks like me. It's a gift to look this way. I'm just doing it. Shut up, man. Shut up. Shut up. God damn. Somebody got to say it, man. Somebody got to say it. You feel me? Somebody got to say it. Bruh. I've always hated that, bro. Like I said, if you're doing a project or a video or film and you're portraying the character of Michael Jackson, of course you got to use the voice. But if you're alive, oh, hey guys, so you know, oh, how, how, love, peace, happiness, Michael, Michael, shut, shut up, shut, shut up. I can't stand it. Um, Oh, thank you for um my man. Uh, was it? I'm sorry. It's, I, I don't know if you're a boy or a girl, but Sai Taima. I can't respect. I can't. I'm sorry if I misspelled it. I think it's Sai Taima. Uh, you said hate that I once supported River. I made art for him, donated to him during live streams and his Patreon. Wasted my time and money, and felt like I disrespected Michael Jackson. Too many snakes in the MJ. Yes, it's too many snakes in the MJ community. Exactly, man. Too many snakes, and they don't know themselves. Like, and I and I try to preach, and I try to tell, you know, my friends. I'm like, you, you know, guys that, that does this MJ stuff full time, and guess what? It can get overwhelming, guys. I've been overwhelmed. That's why right now I'm not in makeup. I'm, I don't feel like it's a need to do that right now. You know, we have bigger things to talk about, and I don't I don't need the distraction from the message right now. I know we put them putting the makeup on, guys. Oh my God.
three. You know what I mean, I understand that. I love it. It's fun. It's, it's fun, fun art project for me. But you know what I'm saying right now ain't the time for that. Ain't the time for that. It's not. It's just not necessary. It's not. It's unnecessary right now. It is not. It's not necessary looking like Michael Jackson right now. So, um, what was I getting at with that whole situation? Uh, yeah, guys. So. These guys, like I said, it's, it's, I tell my, my guys that it's okay to take a break. Cool out. Get your head right. Yo, this whole, this new world order that's going on right now, this spiritual shift of energy, the way everything's been going nowadays, I've been preparing for this without even knowing. That's why you haven't, that's why I've been, I remember I told you guys, I said I've been falling back, just analyzing everything in life. I'm coming, I'm, I'm about to be 30 in a few months. So my life is going to change. I'm, things are changing, you know what I mean? That's, that's nothing wrong. That's great. You know, I'm evolving. You know what I'm saying? So... With that comes, you know, different responsibilities, a uh, new way of thinking. I have to train my thinking. That's why I've been meditating, guys. And right now, I think people might think, well, how can you be about spirit? all spirituality and you have all this negativity saying right now? Well, no, I've been training for this. You know, I wake up, meditate, go to sleep, meditate. And then in, 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 in between, whatever these conversations that need to be had, I'm well mentally prepared and trained for this. So, the, so it's not draining my energy because I have so much energy locked. I got so much energy now, guys. I could do a two-hour workout right now and still be cool. You feel me? So I've been working on my body, working on my mental. My mental muscle has been way more stronger now. So I can give you this information and talk about this. And, not, and even I can give you the emotion, I'm, I didn't become the emotion. I'm not hateful. You know what I'm saying? I'm not jealous. I'm not angry. I'm just, I was real passionate about it. But when it's all said and done, you know, I'm going to go to sleep very peaceful at night, have some good dreams, and I'm going to be cool. I'm groovy. I'm glowing. I'm glowing. I glow every day because my mindset is right and I don't get drained. But so, so I've been preparing for this shift of energy of the world we're facing right now. And that's why I meditate. And that's why we got to be strong out here because the spiritual warfare going on right now. There's a race war going on right now. Not even a race war. It's just a it's just a humans it's just a humans war going. We going from we going it's evil versus good right now. You know what I'm saying? Evil versus good. And I ain't gonna lie, guys. A lot of you guys might get mad at me for saying this, but this is the first time where I'm not really that mad at Donald Trump. I'm sorry. I know I make fun of him in my videos all the time, but bro, let me remind you. It's not black and it's not just white people out there looting right now. It's these Antifa people. And yo, it's 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 paid protesters. Paid by paid by George Soros and Bill Gates and all of them. They're paying people to come from outside of the the, uh, the states or whatever to go and infiltrate different neighborhoods and and and, and, and put brick, cops to put in bricks. And neighborhoods, and they're getting paid to just just, just destroy the, the black community, and we being stupid by going out there and following along with them. You know what I'm saying, but it's not, and it's not. People think, oh, it's the white people riding. Yeah, they happen to be white, but we have many more white people coming together with us too. It's the Antifa people, the ones with the masks and hoodies. That that's a, a control group called Antifa. They're, and they're, what they're trying to do is they're trying to start up riots just so that the government can push this martial law. You know what I'm saying? So we can have, you know, they can have uh, military and army in our neighborhoods taking people out. New world order. It's bigger than George Floyd. You feel me, guys? Oh, you, you guys have to watch this video by Young Pharaoh where he just explains the whole thing and it makes so much sense. And it's, it's, going, it's, it's already passed a million views. Go on Young Pharaoh page. And type in, I guess, I think it's called George Floyd um, uh, uh, Killing and Riots Exposed. Something like that. It's something like that. But go watch it. Young Pharaoh guys, uh, it's, like, it's like three hours long. Go watch it and educate yourself. And after I watched this video, I started taking posts down with me talking about ever anything related to vandalizing, any whatever. They want us to break down these. They want us to loot and they want everybody to destroy the community. You feel me? Yeah. Antifa could be anybody because they're paid by George Soros. They're paying people to go out there. And these people out there are talking about they were being paid. Going, they're going on GeorgeSoros.com and getting paid to protest. Getting supplied bricks. Getting supplied... Like, who gave all these bricks? Who? 
bricks. Who got all these bricks? You feel me? And then there are cops out here that's in on it too. So now you, like, you have your good police that want to stand up for something. And then you got your white supremacists. You got your race soldiers out here. You got race soldiers and you got your good police. Your Antifas. Who happen to be white supremacists throwing up this. Throwing that up. That on their cold. But then we but then they come to our community, the neighbor from our area, they come to our community and get people all hyped up and start breaking stuff and looting and just cause all kinds of vandalism. And meanwhile, you go to the white supremacist neighborhood, they walking around with AK. They said, look, try a loot over here if you want to. I wish you would. You catching all this smoke. Don't even try it over. You're not gonna be not, not gonna tear down our community. Why didn't we do that? You feel me? Why didn't we do that? Why did we let white people or anybody that we don't know, period, to come and, and persuade us to, to break down, to tear down our own communities? Now you got elderly people who can't get their medicine, they can't get their daily things because we done messed it all up. All because we took advantage of a situation that had really nothing to do with us. Like people are out there protest. Yeah, go out there and protest. I, I support that. I'm not saying don't protest, but... Man, you see them, you need to, they need to be getting checked out. They can't, don't be letting them just tear up our buildings. Don't let that happen. You, you, you know what I mean? But we let that happen, guys, and we, we lost that. We lost that battle. And it came to, and, and then the mayor of Minnesota, he let it happen. Now, if you watch this video, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying some key things that I realized that was crazy about this video. Y'all saw, but there was a movie called The Gray State. That young Pharaoh covered. A movie called The Great State, where it basically talks about everything. It's a movie about everything that's going on right now. From the uh, you know, the democracy, the the uh, the riots and all that stuff, from you know, from police brutality, it became a riot, and now there was no no order. And that's where we're in right now, no order. To the point where they had to come push martial law. And FEMA had to come up in there, pray by in FEMA camps, and now they're killing everybody. But they base and the, the guy says, "Look, this video." I'm, and I'm, I'm just rushing through my I'm rushing through my words. I'm trying to get the point across quick. But he said this video is more of a warning to America rather than a movie. Tell me why before the movie came out, dude died. Him and his whole family shot and killed in their kitchen. Him and his wife and his kids trying to spread that message. And guess where this movie happened to take place at? Minnesota. <laughs> and where was, and then you wonder why you look, remember the news when everybody was blowing, blowing up, burn up the, uh, they burned, they burned the, I can't even talk. Remember the news when they burned up the police stations and everybody's like, where, there are no cops present. Where are the cops? Where are the cops? They wanted you to burn that, they wanted you to burn that police station down. You think, you think they, they wanted you to do that. It could have been stopped that. That's why Donald Trump was like, okay, I got to send the military in here and National Guard in here to do what you guys couldn't do. Get, get the, get, and he, and Donald Trump ain't never saying anything about black people right now. He's saying Antifa and the radical left. He's saying it's Antifa and that's what, that's what it is. It's Antifa, guys. So, like I said, I, I'm, I'm not a Trump supporter. I didn't vote. I didn't vote for anybody. I'm keeping, I don't. I just don't like any of them. Be honest. <laughs> I don't. I don't trust none of them. You know what I'm saying? They. I think they all guilty and dirty of something. They all corrupt. So it don't even matter who be the president because that really, yeah, it's, it doesn't even matter no more to me because, like, they're all even anyway. Democrats and Republicans, they all, they all doing the same stuff. You want to pick the lesser of two evils? I don't even know. So. Yeah, man, they all evil. Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton all that stuff. They, they, they all sick people, man. I'm not voting for her. I'm not voting for none of that. So, that's why I say, man, it's, it's, and that's when I, when I really started tapping into all that, I'm like, man, all this Michael Jackson impersonation, all these hate, these, these coach voices, it, it don't really mean nothing at the end of the day. But if we are, but if we are going to get our justice and we are going to come to like a civil, you know, we want to get our respect. And we're gonna come back together when it, it's not gonna ever go back to it's never going back to normal again. Get that for your heads. It's never going back to normal. There is no new there's gonna be a new 
new glow. It's a new vibration. I've been calling that since last year. It's a whole new generation. It's a whole new vibration. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole new vibration, guys. So I've been preparing for this. I knew something was coming. I don't know if it was going to be this exactly, but I knew something was coming. I've been preparing my mind for it. I've been on cold. I'm trying to get you guys on cold. Get, get on your glow cold. Get yourself, get your spirit right. Everything you learn that doesn't serve you, dismiss it. Let's learn new things and open up our minds, guys. As I said, if you got an ego tonight, put your pride aside and just learn tonight. You feel me? Eh. Eh. Exactly. In New World Order. And that's all this is. They tried it with the corona stuff. They tried it with the COVID stuff. That didn't work. All they did was agitate people. It killed people. Now, now they now they use this as a reason why they want to give us vaccines. And vaccines is the reason why people most kids born with autism or more we it was a, more people are not, no hate towards gay people or anything. But a lot of kids, a lot of boys and girls come up with their hormones and chromosomes are all unbalanced, and that's that's what creates, you know, gay great gay people. Homosexuals, whatever, you know what I'm saying? No hate to them. I don't have no problem with that. As long as it's not in my area, I'm cool with it. But I'm not, it's not bashing them. But this is what they, the, the stuff that's in these vaccines are the same thing that, that turns animals homosexual. So, what do you think is going to turn? What do you think is going to happen to a human being? It's going to be all unbalanced. His, his motor skills might be off. It's going to be, these kids are unbalanced. And they don't know what they like. And they just be influenced by anything. Like, yeah, bro. Like, like, maybe you could argue that thing that homosexuality was a choice maybe like a hundred years ago. <laughs> but <laughs> now, <laughs> I don't believe that. I believe that it's because it's these vaccines is making is messing up their chromosome, uh, the chromosome balance. Messing up their own DNA. You're giving females too many hormones. I mean, you're giving, you're giving females too many testosterone, too much testosterone, and giving men less testosterone. Is, is, uh, then, then it, you, really, you really are, it really do be, it really is, Men trapped in women's bodies and uh, men, uh, females trapped in men's bodies. That that's really what it is because the chromo the chromosomes are all jacked up. You feel me? And but they want you to keep taking vaccines, nah, bro. I'm not taking that. And I'm not giving that to my kids, bro. Why we gotta do vaccines now? We we didn't have that in the beginning the beginning of time. You think they was giving out vaccines <laughs> during the Egyptian times? Ancient? You think what they didn't have that back then? Nah, bro. Humans are humans. We were more advanced too, as far as spirituality and our and our, and our bodies and stuff. That's why people may have grown taller back then. Do you realize there's a? I forgot. Yeah, I got. I gotta start educating myself on these names of these places. But I, because I watch a lot of videos, I take I take in a lot of information. But there's a village in Africa where they're just nothing but tall, beautiful black people. I mean, like people who like they make me look short. I'm talking about dudes like six seven, six eight, six nine, and not no Oki Sean Brady looking people. Like I'm talking about built. Like thin, like basketball players, in shape, no messed up bones or anything. They just, they all, even the females, six foot three, six four females, like avatars, damn near like avatars in Africa, have a whole little village of them. I'm like, wow, there's a village of just Dikembe Mutombo African people, but that, that that's not all oaky. That, that, like, that's in shape, that's healthy, and that's their whole lifestyle, and it's beautiful, and they're black, and their skin is so dark, and it's so beautiful people. I'm like, yo, I wanna go there. I want to go there. I want to see that. I want to see like it's so many parts. And there, there's places in Africa where where black people and they look like me and you. They have blonde hair, natural blonde hair. Yo, I don't care what you say. The first humans are black. Everything came from the black gene, the African genes, bro. Blonde hair, blue eyes. That came from Africa, bro. Yo, we are we are the we are the superior race. I'm sorry, we are. We start. We are the birth of all the races. It started from us. It started from a black female, bro. And I'm I'm telling you that I didn't want to I didn't want to agree with that when I was young because I was an egotistical dude. I thought it came from man. I said no, it was no female. It was man. Man run this world. No, it was a black female. A lot of people don't want to hear that because they're not black. They feel like they're you're attacking their ego. Put your ego aside for a second. I'm not all black. I'm I'm, I'm black, but I'm I'm not as pure as they were. You know what I'm saying so. It ain't. I'm not pure like them. I wish I was. So I'll be superior, but I'm not. But that's what it was. It was a black female. Black. And that's why the masses and the one percenters, they, that's why they're so scared of us, bro. That's why they try to dominate us. They try to overpower us and, and try to feed us, 
you know, religion and all that stuff, and try to tell us that you need to you need to forgive and forget, or else you're gonna go to you're not going to heaven. They try to lie to you. They try to, you know, what I mean, steal your kids and rape your kids, rape your mom, and all that stuff, and put you in jail, and then say forgive them because that's what Jesus would do. Bruh, that's the biggest cap in the world. They got you. They got us mentally enslaved, bro, to forgive our oppressors and not fighting back. It's the most truest thing that's been going on. This, this, that's, that's slavery mentality, man. That's what they told slaves. They've been telling, they told slaves that. Obey your master. Obey your God. Obey that. Ah, bro, we are God. We, God lives in all of us. All of us. It's hidden potential that's tapped in there. And all of us. Our hearts and our minds. That's why we can do superhuman things at night. You know what I mean? That's why some of you guys are so talented at dancing. That's why Brandon is able to tap into his own aura and do every single move like Michael Jackson that, you know what I mean, the, the better than most people can do. That's why I'm tapped in to make great music and, you know, speak from the heart of Michael Jackson. That's some super, that's some super power, superpowers. I don't care. That's why LeBron James and Michael Jordan can fly in the air from the, from, the, from the free throw line and dunk it like it's nothing. That's superpowers. I don't care. That takes a lot of... That takes superpowers, dude. That's superpowers. And Imagine... And imagine we didn't have vaccines. Imagine we have contaminated water and, and, and you know processed foods. And like, imagine we never had any of that. We just had raw foods and just organic food from the earth. Imagine we had that since day one. You know what I'm saying? Dude, we'd be super. We'd be super advanced. Our third eye be open. Our chakras and hearts be all open. We'd be tapped in. We didn't have all this technology and all these tablets. Feeding these kids tablets at five years old and stuff like that. We we didn't have none of that, bro. Our kids be more, they would have more of imagination. You know what I'm saying? Like you know. Somebody said that a smart, somebody told me a smartphone is not, is only smart not because of the phone, it's because you make it smart by giving it all your information. The more information you give it and feed it to you about yourself and all this stuff, you're using it as a, I mean, as a damn near our best friend, our, our guardian angels, you're making this phone smart by you being on it. And it's so crazy, bro. It's so crazy, man. And we, this whole, you know, spirituality has been taken away from us by, 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 uh, our, the slave, slave owners, and the white people back in the day, the British and all that, they, they took our spirituality away and replaced it with religion, bro. That's what happened, bro. They told you, you weren't, you weren't a God and that you have to pray to some white man in the sky that looks like, um, some white man looks like the lead singer of Nickelback. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. They don't seem odd to you, bro. They don't seem odd that they try to paint every, like, you know what I'm saying, religious person in history as some white dude with blonde hair, looking super European. But then you go back to those places and look at the people that live there. They look nothing like the people you see on these, on these, on these churches and stuff. On these, Jesus, I mean, come on, that, that, we can get deeper to that. But that's why I'm, not, that's why I don't really have religion. I, I grew up Catholic, and I don't, I don't bang with that no more. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't even know. I don't like religion no more. It's, it's all, it's all a cat. It's, everything is too many opinions, too many sides. But I said, look, man, I, I believe there's a higher power. And, you know, I believe that, you know, we have to uh, re respect each other and love each other. But all these commandments and rules, that's all man-made stuff, bro. That's all man-made stuff to confuse you and, and try to keep you in check. It's, it's like basically like government law. But trying to tell you from a different way. Oh, you know, if you don't listen, you're going to hell. But then they tell you can that God forgives you for all your sins. There's so many contradictions that they try to say, man. It's like I don't understand it, bruh. You know what I'm saying? What's up, cuz? I got my cousin here. I wish I could bring you on here, cuz. I wish you could bring you. I know you I know you feel I know you feel how you feel about you know what I mean, you know, you see you, you you know, your religion and all that stuff, cuz. I know you're more educated about it than me and everything, but you know what I'm saying? I just I just I'm not, I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not on that train, bruh. But um, but I respect I res I respect anybody's opinion. I respect people's beliefs. You know what I'm I would never tell you that what you believe is wrong, and that's the problem with our that's a problem with the world. Everybody's trying to tell who everybody's trying to tell people what's right and what's wrong and who, what's real. Like nobody knows nothing. Nobody knows nothing until we pass, bro. You know what I'm saying? We are all nobody. Nobody has the cheat code to life yet. Everybody has their own experiences, and everybody you know. Everybody's experiences are unique, and everybody has their own beliefs. And no, there's no there's no man on this earth that can tell you what's going to happen after life, or after death. You know what I'm saying? 
that's a personal experience. It's a second. It's a psychedelic experience when we're born, and a psychedelic experience when we sleep, and a psychedelic experience when we die. You know what I'm saying? It's all coming from the, the perception of where you at. You feel me? So, yeah, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, um. So we just got we just got to be tuned in, tapped in, guys, and we can't be letting on these vultures. Like I said, going back to the, going back to the main topic, why I even got on this live stream. I'm glad, you know, I'm glad that my stream got cut up earlier. I'm glad we had to write a restart or reiterate everything I was saying before about you know um, how we got to hold some of these dudes accountable for trying to come in our culture and just just disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Disrespect. So this is, this is bigger. This is bigger than Sac MJ. It's bigger than Jalas. It's bigger than Fabio. This is the mindset. That many of these people, many people like them share. It's this disease mindset where you think they can come into our culture and still and do whatever they want to do. You know what I'm saying? With no repercussions. Nobody holding them accountable because most of the MJ community is people not of color. And all the black people scared to say something because they're scared to get attacked by MJ stands. Michael Jackson was for all people. Yeah, yeah, but right now it ain't about all people right now. It's about protecting what's ours. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jackson was for all people, not for all people to make a muckery, mu uh, run a mock of our, our culture. He stood for y'all, but that doesn't mean that y'all can come in here and just try to just infiltrate and disrespect. No, he wasn't for y'all disrespecting. That didn't mean, <laughs> that didn't mean, oh, that's like saying, oh, I love my cousins. That's my cousins come to my house and just, just, just paint on the walls and poop all over the floors and let the dogs out and then not wash dishes and just disrespect the crib. Just put his foot on the couch. The wind. He didn't say you can do that. Just because he let you in his house? Nah. Nah. That is not how it goes. So, we got we to start protecting ours and holding people accountable, guys. But um, I'm running in circles here. I'm going to end this stream. I've been here for like an hour and a half. Um, shout out to everybody that was on here. Let me, let me get, me get to a couple more questions before I, I feel like I didn't answer a lot of questions. I was just rambling, but I was trying to get my, my, my opinion across. Uh, somebody said, I don't understand why I don't have a problem with white people and treat them like I know them for years and, but they see my color and that's the problem. I don't see color. I see the person. What is wrong? We got to get off that guys. Or that I don't see color. So yes, we do see color. You can see color. There's nothing wrong with seeing color. If you don't see color, that's the problem. You can see color, but you just can't, you know, it's, it's the problem. We can see, we can, okay, I analyze that you are black, analyze that you're Hispanic, analyze you, you white, whatever, yada, yada, but okay, I see the color, but now how's the, how's the spirit? How's the soul? If your vibe is off, I don't rock with you, rather black, well, I don't care what you are. If your vibe is off, I ain't rocking with you. You know what I'm saying? Stop saying we don't see color. I hate when white people say that. I don't see color. Yes, you do see color. You, you can't see color. That's stupid. Just say, just say you don't judge the person by his color. I'm not gonna judge you by the color of your skin. Say that. All this, I don't see color. That sounds that sounds racist. That sounds you just hired from your racism. Like, dog, I see color, bro. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People, if anybody knows me, they know. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna talk about what I, my sexual preference. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's different. That's my business. But we, I see, we see color, bro. You know what I'm saying? We see color. Yeah. And why I don't get along with Ecast number no more? He's a hater, bro. He's a hater. That's why I even tell y'all about that. Yeah, this dude's a hater, man. He um basically I, I got make I make a separate video about that guy later on. That's when I just talk about the, the, the people I don't like and stuff. I make a second video about that because that's a whole different topic. It's going to take me another hour, or maybe a half hour, to thoroughly explain why this dude is a clown. But just know, sum it all up, he's a hater. He doesn't like anybody that's new in the game coming up. He doesn't have respect for nobody. He, he thinks he's the Michael Jordan of the MJ fandom. He thinks he's the only person that can look like Michael Jackson. He thinks he looks just like Michael Jackson. He just done some shady stuff to me. He hated, he just, he just, he just a, a, sick, a sick old man. Is what I call it. A sick old man. He lies about his age and stuff like. He's just a liar, a, a sick dude, and he hated on me. And I got receipts on him. If he want to come for me, I got some. I got. I can expose him even more. So, you know what I'm saying? It's deep. You know what I'm saying? Is he's he's a sick old man. Put it this way, Michael Jackson would not appreciate the things he'd be saying to little girls. Put it that way. 
That's why I don't rock with Ecast and Nova no more. You take that and flip that how you want it. I don't associate with anybody who talks to little girls. Put it that way. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, basic, basically. Yeah, basically. You know what I'm saying? Basically. That's why I don't rock with them. On top of him being fake. On top of him being fake. Thank you, Jay Ray. Yo, Trapson, I've been a fan of you for a long time. Since high, eh? Getting high, high. Yeah, that's fire. He said, uh, these streams have been groovy and informative. Thank you for all you've done. Thank yo, I, yo, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, it's, like I said, guys, it's some stuff in this MJ community. These tribute artists, hmm, hmm. Let me keep my mouth shut, man. I got smoke on some of these dudes, bro. That's why. This is why you. Don't, this is why I can't rock with people, bro. It's this fandom gets disgusting, bro. A lot of them are like that. I'm not calling no more names out because I'm not. That's a whole other topic, bro. That's a whole other topic, but yeah, there's a lot of sick people in this fandom. A lot of them, and I don't associate with them. I cut them off. I don't want no parts of that. But yeah, they call me disrespectful. They call me a disgrace to Michael Jackson. Yeah, they be out here doing the same thing that Michael Jackson was accused of. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of that, guys. You can take my word, because I'm I'm behind the scenes. I I know I'll be in the game, bro. I'm in the game. I know this stuff. Shock my eyes too, guys. That's why I don't so don't rock with some of these dudes. You feel me? Nobody, nobody wants to talk about it though. I'm I'm gonna have to make I'm have to make a separate video. I'm not gonna talk about it though. Everybody's scared. Shh, 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 shh. Don't say that. Don't say that. It's wrong. Do it wrong. You can't say that. You can't shut up. You can't say that. Shh. Come on, Jackson. Stop. Stop, Jackson. Shh. Can't talk. Can't rock with them. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to talk about Ecast and Nova. People scared, like, what are you scared of? Ain't gonna do that to you. The only dude's gonna do is block you. <laughs> you hit him with some facts, he's gonna block you, be mad. Cornball, creep, pedophile, creep. That's all he is. Had a thought the hard way, that's what he is. That's why I can't rock with him. And he's a hater. And nobody like him. He lost his credit, he lost his clout, he lost everything. Nobody rock with him. He's disrespectful, bro. He's out, he out of line, out of pocket. Yes. And a lot of people are afraid to speak on stuff like this because they don't want to be banned. They're scared of the backlash. They're scared of the smoke. And I tell them since day one, you don't want the smoke. Don't mess with me, bro. Don't mess with me, bro. Respect me, bro. You better respect me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm putting cases on all y'all. <laughs> no, nah, I'm playing. No, real talk, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, man. We got, yo. We got to hold some of these dudes accountable, man. We can't be. It's, it's bigger. It's bigger than Michael Jackson, bro. There's some stuff going on in this community, bro. Nobody want to. Hey, They be acting like this Illuminati. Nah, dog. Get out of here. They don't want nothing with me. They don't want no smoke with me. <laughs> they scared. That's why a lot of them try to be my friend. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I don't like him. I think he's disrespectful to Michael Jackson. His video is disrespectful, but I don't be cool with him because, you know what I'm saying, you know, he popping. He got following. You know, I don't want to be the wrong side of the globe. Just like some white people don't like black people, but don't want to be cool with because they don't want to seem racist. You got a lot of that in the community, bro. Niggas do that with everybody. People, it's, 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 it's sad, man. It's sad because I came in here so genuine, so pure in the game. I just like, just like any other you guys, I just want to be cool. Like, looking up to Ecast, seeing him on EVH1 as a kid, and then him being a hater of mine. I'm like, bro, I'm trying to work with you. I'm trying to help you. I want to collaborate. Come together. These guys don't want that. They want to hate and, and be mad. Because you have stuff that they don't have. I'm like, bro, we can have, we can get it together. 
we can get it together. Let's work on something. He goes from, Ecast goes from, oh, we should do a comedy show together. It'll be amazing. You do victory traps and I'll be the bad era. It'll be fire. We do comedy jokes and sing MJ songs. I said, you can do that yet. Soon as Neverland's documentary comes out, everybody going crazy. You know, I get Brandy Jackson. He see that Brandy Jackson is about to be, be on my channel going live stream. Now all of a sudden he's hating me. Now all of a sudden I'm 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 not good enough to hold it. I'm not good enough for the MJ tribute world. Now I'm now I'm disrespectful. Now now I said the N word too much. Now I'm now I'm not holding Michael Jackson legacy. Well, you were just trying to do a, 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 a you were just trying to shoot videos with me. Now now I'm disrespectful. What what was that energy at when we were supposed to link up? What happens to that? What happens to you want to do bad boys? What happens to you want to do this comedy show? Now because you see that Brandy Jackson wanted which I offered. Now ain't like Brandy Jackson reached reached out to reached out to me. I reached out to Brandy Jackson because Michael Jack. Remember, I've been standing here defending Michael Jackson for all of us. It ain't just for me. If Michael Jackson go down, we all go down. Ain't gonna be no tribute. They was canceling tribute shows left and right, bro. Canceling tribute shows, taking down Michael Jackson. Remember this? Taking down his, his statue from, from the MJ One in Vegas. Just trying to cancel Michael. Oh, everybody, the whole world was trying to cancel Michael Jackson. But yet, people like me, people like you guys in here, stand up for what's right. So I offered my platform to Brandy Jackson. I said, hey, you know, I respect you out here, you and you and Ties and all your family out here in the front line, you know, hold it down for your uncle and everything. You know, I have a platform at the time when they had like 200,000 200, subscribers. I said, I got 200K on my subscribers. It's not much, I don't have a million, but you know, whatever I can do, if you need me for anything, anything at all, I'm not even making videos right now. If you want to just use my platform for whatever, get your message across, I am here for the cause, 100%. F the trash videos right now, because F Wade was already out. A lot of my videos are already out, so I already did my my promoting already. I mean, I already did my you know my 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 my, my part. So now I'm like, if you need me, because Brandon Jackson don't have a YouTube with a big following. She barely had 14,000 followers back then on Instagram. A lot of Jacksons don't have a big platform. They got a big name. The Jackson name is huge. They didn't have it. So. I gave my platform to, to, I said, hey, you want to come on? And she agreed, yeah. Came on here, had a groovy stream, defended Michael Jackson, talked some groovy stuff. It was a good interview. But to him, to Ecast, oh, I reached out to the Jackson family and nobody got back to me. I wonder why nobody got back to you, E-Trash. <laughs> I wonder why nobody want to talk to you because you shady and you sick. I want, and, you, and you wonder why he looked just like Michael Jackson, but he don't got no followers. Hmm. Why don't I, what is he, what was, yo, that's, that's, that's the universe protecting people from him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I was like, why, why? a cash you're the GOAT. You're the legend. You was on, you was, you was on top. You was in, you was in Michael Jackson's music video. You was a double for Michael Jackson. What happened? You still look like Michael Jackson. You still want the best look like. What happened? That spirit happened. That karma happened. You know what I'm saying? That energy you put out, you, you shall receive. You, you give out ugly to the world, you shall receive ugly. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't rock with E-Cash no, he's a hater. He don't want to see nobody shine except for him. My man, what do you say? Uh... Clutch Master, you said, yo, Traps, I've been around since, since if MJ made a made trap song. Uh, I've been liking your streams and vids. I think we are the world parody it was a fair the funniest video ever. <laughs> uh when Michael called out MJ. <laughs> yeah, that was uh that was a classic, man. That was a fun video I've been wanting to do for a while, man. Yeah, that was a you know, the cup stays. <laughs> oh, that's cool, man. So and like I said, guys, this is not I don't hate E Cashing over. I just protect. I protect my energy, and I don't want no parts of that. Oh, and then this is the kind of petty stuff I don't like with grown men doing. So, you know, y'all saw the stream. Some of y'all saw the stream while I was in Vegas with the MJ Avengers, and we met up with Ecast. Now, mind you, none of them wanted to really meet this dude. I was the one. Like, Let's meet Ecast, and man, he's a legend. We always to the fandom. You know, just you know, what I mean, just say we met the the guy that basically. Gave us the, you know what I mean? Because, I ain't gonna lie, I'll give him his credit. Like, if it was for him, it probably wouldn't be a lot of tribute artists because he made it cool to do that. So, I give him his respect for that as a tribute artist. 
not as a person, but E. Casanova, the tribute artist. But this grown man hit me up. Mind you, he never shared none of my videos, never really liked any of my posts or anything like that. He's always just like just talking about what I should and should be doing. And, I'm, and, I, and I respect my elders. He's like 60 years old, so I respect my elders. I listen to him. Okay, bro, I hear you, bro, I hear you, bro. And um, so he's like, hey, man, can you share my picture? Can you promote my show, man? I'm trying to do a show, and then after that, you guys can have it. I said, what? We can have it. Promote your show? I said, you just sound off, bro. I said, I just didn't respond. He was like, hey, man, if I got to pay you, man. What's up, man? I'll pay you to promote me. I said, I just didn't like the vibe. I didn't feel genuine. I just like, eh, nah, bro. I, I just, you know what? I said, you know what, E-Cash? I said, when have you ever shared one of my stuff? Like, at all. You know, he says, you got over 100,000 followers on Instagram. Why do you need my validation? I said, it ain't about that. That's what you all messed up. It ain't about how many followers somebody got. If you generally you rock with somebody and support them, it shouldn't matter. You should just do it just because you, you rock with them. You know what I'm saying? If, you know what I'm saying? I, if you see that I, I, I dropped a new project, EO, you can tell that. To, you told me you watched it. You, told, you see it. There's a lot that went into that. Why can't you just put your product out and just say, yo, shout out to the younger generation holding it down? You know what I'm saying? Show love. You don't show no love to nobody, but yet you want somebody to promote your show? Nah, bro. F your show. I don't care about your show. I don't care about your show. You ain't Mike, bro. You, for, you forgot that. You forgot you wasn't Michael Jackson. You think that, you know what I'm saying? So, and then, then after that, he blocked me. No, no, no. After that, he started getting disrespectful, saying, you know, well, if you'd have asked me to do it, I'd have did it. You know what I'm saying? But whatever, homie, do you. Then you don't follow me. I said, then you don't follow me, though? That's kind of like, okay, because I didn't share your video? I was like, all right, that shows that we wasn't really cool anyway. You, really, you, you just a hater. Okay, I, I gave you so many passes on the brandy thing. I gave him so many passes because, you know what I'm saying, I gave people chances. I will give you the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I will, I will let you try to redeem yourself. And he, you know what I mean? He, he just shot himself in the foot. So, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> whatever, Eric Evans. Because his name is, his real name is Eric Evans. And he said, oh, no, you didn't. Call me Eric Evans. I never introduced you as as, as Eric Evans. I never introduced myself as that. You dis you going to disrespect me now. And he blocked me. I'm like, bro, we all know your name is Eric Evans. We all know you was that same dude at the 1984 MJ competition, and you had a nose like mine. Just like my nose is right here, you had a nose like this. Now you got a nose like this. With a lip like this. Yeah, man. It's E. Casanova, man. You know what I'm saying? His lip all hanging. Yeah, you know what I mean? I got that surgery, man. I got that nose, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Brother, all that. Yeah. Lying about surgery. It's like Fabio. Oh, it's, it's, it's a gift to look like Michael Jackson. Bro, you got your nose. The, now, you, now you, you got the eyes. You got the hair. You, you have a good foundation to do it. But come on. Just be real. These dudes are not real. They are fake, bro. Fake. Fake, 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 fake. fake. And I'm calling them out on it, bro. Fake. He like, yeah, man. I'm I'm E Casanova, man. You know what I'm saying? We 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 gotta come together, man. We gotta come. Oh no, no, Trapson, man, you wrong, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't share my video, man. You ain't share my video, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, oh, bro, what's up with your, why your lip doing that? Why you doing? Why you ain't doing doing this? Like, what's up with the bottom of your? What's up with the top of your lip? That doing hanging like hangman lip. What's up with your? Who who was doing? Who was doing? Uh, Michael Jordan dunks on your lip. You know what I'm saying? Chill. Last dance, last dance, Michael Jordan, 96 Bulls on e cast lip. <laughs> Tomahawk slam! Dump on his lip, face ass. <laughs> chill, chill, don't do that, do that, thank you. You know what I'm saying? My man, my man was, let, my man was letting Mark Henry, <laughs> my man let Mark Henry do, uh, do calf races on his lip. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Close that door for me, man. Thanks. They're like, his name is E Cast. And then he had a cast on his lips. Somebody said, Doop! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What'd he say? He said, He said, What'd he say in that interview? He said, Uh, uh, I'm trying to quote. He said something like that. I was always quoting his 
his song. Was wrong with your lip? Don't pick up this chip. <laughs> What's wrong with your lip? What's wrong with your mind? And then and when he said, he said, um, he said, anybody can copy another person. And it's basically what I've done and I mastered it. But that's his own style. The man, he invented that, something like that. Like, this is anything. <laughs> yeah, man. Anybody can copy this, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? When the Billy Jean is so dangerous, why you wanna lip on me? <laughs> ah, I'm trying to fry these dudes. I don't care. I'm frying them from the rip. They got nothing on me. They don't wanna go there with me, bro. And then, another thing, he, he's the corner dude anyway, because when we was in Vegas, off camera before we even went live, you know, y'all know how I be. Y'all see how I be with my cousin. I be trolling, having fun. I was like, what's up, Dan Jackson? I was just playing with him. Just, and he's just like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? He's like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we shouldn't be we shouldn't be joking on each other, man. We shouldn't be joking on each other. You know what I'm saying, man? We, we should be joking. We should be frying other people, man, but not us, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you don't get your little sensitive ass out of here, bro. Like, you know, come on, bro. We like, we, we out here vibing, you know what I'm saying? Like, just having fun. Why you all getting all sensitive? Nah, man, I'm saying, because some, like, some people can get offended. You know what I'm saying? If I came at your nose right now, you might get offended. I'm like, bro, I don't care. Like, this ain't me. This is, this is, this is, I'm just, I'm in makeup right now. Dude, come at me all you want. Give me some tips. Tell me how to get better. I, I, I take, tell me a sponge. If somebody can critique me and tell me how I can get better, I'll take the information and get better. You know what I'm saying? I would be like, oh my God, you just stroked my ego. Oh my God, you hurt my feelings. You don't love me, you don't support me. You're a hater. I don't do that, bro. You know, I'm like, who? I'm like, who's getting offended besides you? That's what my cousin Barry walked off. He's like, man, I don't want to be around this dude. He's corny, man. All the girls left. I'm, my, I'm even tell you, when, as soon as he pulled up, Krista MJ, Ivy, to our friend Serena, friend Roxy, all just rolled out. They said, oh, I don't like this vibe. Energy, out. Get away from me. All left. Creepy. He creepy. So creepy. Creepy dude. But I'm but me, I try to put my pride aside and just rock out because and give pay my respect. I said, you the dude that's basically started this tribute game, but I'm gonna give you my respect and we're gonna chop it up. And you know what I'm saying? And um you know, I'm just gonna pay I'm just gonna give my respect, but we're gonna rock out. You know what I mean? I want I want and I want it'd be good for the community, but see us come together, but it just doesn't work when these dudes have all this ego, man, for no reason. You was famous like 40 years ago. Nobody knows you no more, bro. Shut up. God. Mm. Yeah, baby. Exactly. Exactly, man. These dudes, man. Like, oh, man. <laughs> the Michael Jackson community is hilarious, bro. It, it's, it got some crazy stuff in there, bro, but it's still fun. I love the fan, man. I love the MJ fan, but we got to check. You got to check them. You got a lot of sick people in the game. You got a lot of sick people... You know, we got a lot of mentally ill Michael Jackson fans. They, they're not even stands. They're like the mentally ill people who just, if you say anything off court, anything that they disagree with, that you are a Michael Jackson hater. Like, like, bro, I don't, I don't even agree with everything Michael Jackson did. But his family don't even agree. His private, his private kids don't even agree with everything Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson doesn't even agree with everything he did. He he admitted he admitted himself he made some mistakes. We all we don't nobody in this world nobody in this world should agree with everything they've ever done. Like that's your human being. You make mistakes. You do things that might have not been shouldn't have done that. I mean, it happened, you can't change the past. You got to learn from it. But you know what I mean, you probably wish you could have done that. And some things like Jackson, I was like, you know what? I wish you didn't do that. If you didn't do that, bro, you probably would still be alive. You know what I'm saying that's what, what I wish you would have been like that, but. Not these these mentally ill people. You should never say anything bad about Michael Jackson. Oh my God, you are an uh, anti moonwalker. You are against Michael. I'm like, bruh, I just spent all these thousands of dollars on MJ, you know, clothing and, and costumes and memorabilia and all this effort to give you a product, and you call me anti Michael. Shut up. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to your room. Go to sleep. Take a nap. Take a nap.
what I'm saying? Take a long nap. And don't wake up until you got your mind straight. Go meditate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go to bed. But, uh... Yeah, guys. There's it's, it's other guys in the community. I'll, I'll, I'll address it later on. But nobody wants to speak up. Everybody's scared to talk, man. It's like, why are y'all scared of these losers? Why are you scared of these people, bro, who do nothing for you? You scare these guys. You scare them. They don't even talk to you. They don't even respond to your comments. They don't even jump on live and be sincere like I am right now, talking to y'all, giving y'all a run. They don't even do that. They hide behind Michael Jackson's face every damn day. And then do all this, all this stuff, crazy stuff that is disrespectful stuff, off camera. Talking to underage girls and just all kind of weird stuff that goes on in this fandom, man. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna get off this. I've been on here for uh, about the almost two hours. Jesus, damn, damn near two hour stream. I'm going to get off this. I love you guys. I appreciate all the um, Glow Nations. The next stream I do, you know, since YouTube, I'm going to have to start um, um, putting my... If you guys have Cash App, if you, I know you got a lot of guys donate to me. If you got Cash App, I, I appreciate you if you donated to there. Because YouTube takes 30% of all donations. In case you guys didn't know that. So if you if you guys send me ten dollars, they will take three dollars out. If you send me hundred dollars, they will take thirty dollars out of it. So all the money, so thirty percent of the money you send to me, YouTube takes that. So um, if you wanna, hold on, let me just put my, uh, let me just, hold on. can I comment? I should be able to comment in here, right? Uh, how can I? How can I post? Why am I not being right in here? Okay, I'm not even able to do this. I don't know how to do this on here. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. I don't know why I can't comment right now. Either way, I'll figure it out later on. Uh, where my, my super chat is just uh, Mr. Groovy84. But I, I, I don't worry about it right now. Go about it in the stream. But future references, I'm gonna just give my 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 super uh, my cash app. So so you know whatever. So your money is not being sent to YouTube. You, you feel me? So, um, so guys, um, yeah, I got paper. I'll put all the information there, guys, for next time. Right now, right now, right now, it's not really about the money. But I see we got almost two hundred dollars donated today. So I just, I rather, you know, it goes to the desired place than go to YouTube. They take they be taking a lot of money out, but. I appreciate you guys for tuning in, and those and thank you guys for the ones who are, you know, like I said, not black, and who didn't take offense to this because I'm not trying to offend you. And my, it's just not a general. This is not a generalization. It's not all white people. It's not everybody. It's just a few, a select few who happen to not be of our, our culture. So we have to just address that. I'm I'm glad you guys are open minded enough to understand that. I love you guys. I love all people. When all this is all said and done, and we get our respect, we can all come together. We all stood together here. The ones that we, we just we just we just drain a swamp right now. All the weirdos. We don't need them. We don't need them around here. Get them out of here. So, I appreciate you for sticking with me and being real with me tonight. I love y'all. You guys have a great night. And remember, you are love. You are light, and you are a miracle. And you're super groovy. And I love all you guys. And I love y'all spirit. Before we get out, take a deep breath. We're going to cleanse our aura real quick from all the negativity. Breathe it out. We breathe in love. Breathe out gratitude. Breathe in love. Breathe out gratitude. You know what I'm saying? And that's how we clear, we clear our mind. Do that for at least 10 to 20 minutes every day and night to clear your aura. You know what I'm saying? That's how you get the glow again. All right? So... I love you guys. Be safe and stay groovy. Shimona! <laughs>